Hi, my flip friends. I am Patty Fuchs from the Indian River County Library System. Later on in the video, you'll see Tanya Huff, our assistant director, and we want to share with you a few ideas for Libraries Rock. Our first idea is a creative drawing exercise wherein you'd have the kids sit at tables with paper and pen or crayons, and you play several different types of music for them, from classical music to hard rock and everything in between. And as the music plays, they're inspired to draw, and you can get some really fun artwork out of that. Uh, we're also going to show you in this video a couple of dances, one of which is the Cotton Eye Joe, which is a very popular line dance that's done in a round, and we'll show you how to do that. And then lastly, the Cha-Cha Slide, which is another very popular dance, which is even easier because it tells you how to do it. So we hope you enjoy. This is the Cotton Eye Joe. Cross, kick, cha, 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 cross, kick, cha, 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 cross, kick, cha, 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 cross, kick, cha, cha, cha. Again. Some people call these triple steps because they're made up of three steps. And that's the Cotton Eye Joe. So the music you use for the Cotton Eye Joe is the Cotton Eye Joe. There's lots of different versions of it. Um, there's a very popular one back in the 90s done by the Rednecks, which I believe would be kid friendly. I don't think there's anything. We We'll double check that, but um, but the version you're listening to today is one that's off of a children's CD. It starts out slower and it gets faster and faster, which is one that I would suggest for the kids, so that way they get more experience. Um, it's a very simple dance. The hardest part for those who aren't used to dancing, don't have a background in it, is a triple step. You see it's literally three quarters triple steps or cha-chas, whatever you want to call them. What I do when I'm teaching the kids to dance, before I even get into the cross kick part, is I line them up. You'll see the dance was done, is meant to be done in a round, okay? Um, the kids can stand side by side, they can just go single file, doesn't matter. But when you're breaking it down in the beginning for them, teaching the triple step, what I do is just have them stand in regular old lines and I teach them like they're marching, okay? So a triple step starting on the right foot would just be right, left, right. On the left foot, left, right, left. And if you break it down that way and just go over that a lot, start with just in place and then have them going forward, even going backwards if they want to, that can, that can work. Um, and do that, and that way once you get into the round, you start teaching the cross kick part, it's a lot easier for them. And that's my little tip for that. Okay, the last thing we want to show you is the cha-cha slide. You may already be familiar with this if you've been to a wedding in the last 10, 15 years probably, uh, but it's a really fun dance to do, um, especially because uh, you don't really need to know it. You can just jump in because it pretty much tells you what to do. Uh, a couple of the steps you have to pay attention to. When they say turn around, um, that's just a quarter turn. Uh, when right or left, you're literally moving right or left. You can step, you can grapevine. Um, you can make it as fancy or as simple as you want to, but it's a fun dance to do, so we'll show you a little bit of that. There's also a kid's bop version as well. mostly repeating a bunch of that. Let's go. Uh, so we'll see y'all. Hope you enjoy and have a great time.